So we didn't come, we didn't we didn't get you on here to talk about the Orioles. We got you on here to talk about something much much more pressing in the news and the not not just the sporting world but the political world because sometimes they overlap. I mean, this oh. was a and Mur. We talked a little bit before uh, before the show. I mean, this was a uh, this was a real dandy. This was a real doozy in the press. This was President Trump's presidential buffet for the national champion Clemson Tigers. Uh, Give us. I mean, you heard about it. You, uh, you're a formal former member of the press. Uh, yeah. Give us a. Give us your rundown on on the importance, the magnitude of this, uh, this this uh, no. this event. Why is this a thing? That's my first reaction when I saw the Trump. I was in my car. Okay, I was doing what we're not supposed to do when we're in the car. I was looking through Twitter because that's what I do on my drive home. And I saw that. I was like, oh look at that! Trump gave him all fast food. That's awesome. And then I got home and I started looking through. Like, oh, oh, wait a minute. No, never mind. That's not supposed to be. I'm not allowed to think that's awesome anymore because apparently it, it, he trashed America by giving fast food to a bunch of college kids. Mm. It's the dumbest. This is the absolute dumbest outrage I've ever heard in my entire life. Here's the headline from the Washington Post, by the way. Trump has turned the White House into a White Castle. I mean, I, <laughs> That's clever. I, I hope that That's 19-year-old uh, fresh out of college got a, got a raise for that little, uh, that little ditty right there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What was your guys' reaction? Because I haven't talked to anybody, like any other living human about it. So, what, <laughs> Alan, what was your reaction to it? Uh, I mean, a lot like yours is just absolutely preposterous. I mean, who who cares? These kids are what eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. You know, for yeah. lucky, they're 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 ramming through these things. That's what six fillet of fish is at nineteen years old. That's that's pregame. You know, you just let's fuel up. <laughs> like it's the most ridiculous headline you could ever ask for. I mean, and question. Here's a question. Let me throw this out there for you. Did they feed every other team that comes to the White House? Like, I don't understand the the, the standard operating procedure. Yeah. So typically there is a buffet um, that's either – and see, this is, this is what I don't know. I don't know if it has been catered by an outside organization or if the White House in-house badass kitchen staff – does this? My guess is they. My guess is they they outsource it. They cater it via some local DC restaurant. But okay. yes, they do feed every team, okay. whether it co- collegiate or professional, uh, when they visit the White House for winning the championship. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I but, didn't even know that. But yeah. But ahead. when they do it, they when they do it, they do it like that fancy uncle you have who somehow like has five Rolexes and a Maserati in his backyard, and they come up with some sort of like goose liver pate and vinaigrette <laughs> reductions that I still can't stomach to this day in my life. Eighteen to twenty year olds that just got done a grueling ass football season. They probably didn't get to eat any of this garbage for the last six months. Finally get to come to the freaking White House and right. chow down. I mean, you, the whole point when you invite somebody over to your house is to make them like feel welcomed. What's more welcoming than a 40 foot stack of Big Macs <laughs> or <Okay>. touche <laughs> uh, a, a whoppers pizza. Let's not discriminate here. I mean, there were other things other than the Big Macs. Were there pizzas and Pe- stuff? Pe- yeah. There were yeah. pizzas, okay. French fries. I sure. would have been pulled for some tacos. Like, yeah, you give me a big old triangle of, of ground beef tacos. Yeah, I'm down. I, I don't care. A pyramid scheme. Yeah, you can have my college, my ring, my national championship ring. I don't care. Uh-huh. We're good. Yeah, I bet. I bet old Trumpy Poo would have broke out of Chris Twenty, let you go down the old Taco Bell and scrounge some up. I it just, I, just, I thought nobody likes Trump. That's the only reason this is a story. Well, if course. he served, if he served like a dry aged prime rib, it would have been like, oh, he's trying to uh, press the high life upon these young college kids who can't afford prime rib. It didn't matter what he served. He was no. going to be raked over the coals no matter what he gave them. Well, apparently 100%. last year when Bama visited, um, they had uh, what I heard. I don't know if, it, if I don't know if this was the only main course. I know a chunk of it was because someone from Bama had rant and raved about um, like barbecue. A good now actually right. I have that wrong. It was before Trump. Uh, it was someone uh, from the Clemson team who was on the team. Two years ago, when they won the national championship, commented on it. Mm. Uh, so I don't think it has to be like this spice livered yeah. pate or whatever the hell you said <laughs> earlier. Escargot, egg, egg, egg roe, Sammy, um, Sammy sub. Um, but they, they, yeah, you're absolutely right. Yes, pe- people hate Trump, and and it didn't matter what he served. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I mean, I, you know, I. 
three thousand dollars for three hundred sandwiches. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's. I think for me, when I saw the first image on Twitter as I was driving home from work, and I, I, I it was, it was this. I don't know the the right word. I'm not good with English here. Uh, the juxtaposition of seeing Big Mac <laughs> boxes with probably 100 year old like fine china inside the most decorated home in the entire country fine it was just this china oh, yeah, you know what i mean that, I, it, I really like the candelabras yeah like the, yes. just like like you were in a castle like, <laughs> yeah. eating big macs le big mac <laughs> le, yeah exactly they don't know what a quarter pound is we've got the metric system like, metric system <laughs> Uh, the best thing that I saw, though, was that the uh, – who, who was the quote from? Uh, the Washington Post. They actually fact-checked Trump because he stood up there and he says, yeah, I bought him a 1,000 burgers. Uh, they're piled a mile high. And so they went back and they fact-checked him. Here's the quote from the Washington Post. Uh, At two inches each, a 1,000 burgers would not reach one mile. So <laughs> – it's he could work. win. There's nothing. He, there's nothing he could have done uh, to win. I don't know. I, and I, I hate it because it's the same reason I started to hate the NFL because of the kneeling and the politics involved in the kneeling. I get it. There's a the America. America's on fire. Everybody. Let's remind them every waking second of the day. Uh, but I don't tune in to sports for that, and I don't even tune into this. Why couldn't they just have a nice moment? I mean, are we not allowed to have nice things anymore? Is that what it? Is that what this entire conversation is supposed? to What's the point, I guess, is my question to you guys. What's the point of dragging him over the coals? Because I, I, I don't seem to find anybody who's really outraged by it. No, I, yeah. I, I mean, it's yeah. it's uh, it. Trump is newsworthy and you got to fuel Facebook and, and him you know, somehow feeding or catering a national championship fo- football team with fast food was newsworthy, whether whether it be good or bad or however you spin it. No, I it just yes, it, it's fuel for the fire for people who don't who don't like him and uh I mean, it is what it is. But what are you looking for? I guess, I guess the point is like, what are you looking for? Because I mean, is there anything more American than college football, a champion's visit to the White House, and the mass consumption of overly processed fast food? (laughs) Seriously, Dabo Sweeney eating Wendy's at the White House is a patriot's tale that should be told for eons and eons to come. Yeah, Dave Thomas isn't rolling over in his grave, right? He's he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah." or like Dave probably be like, yeah. Go. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Eat it up. I can't remember. I haven't seen Dave. You know, I haven't Dave seen Dave Thomas commercial. Wait, the Wendy's guy is that who you're imitating? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, you know the, yeah. the owner who. Never um... said, yeah, that's the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was he was stoic. I think is what he's saying. You know. Yeah, come on, man. You know, it's, flipping the burgers, yeah. guy had he had square burgers, not round. He wasn't a rebel. <laughs> he was just a simple man making ground beef patties. This is really all it is. <laughs> My, Always fresh, never frozen. Exactly. My point is, he's not rolling over in his grave. He's 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 Correct. cheering, and yeah, maybe how he says it. He's like a <laughs> fucking soft ass. He's, he's, he's from Ohio. Yeah. I, and, my, yeah. and then I got into it again. I said I haven't seen a commercial in eighteen plus years. <laughs> he's my, been my, dead for that same amount of time. My, yeah, my impersonation like... game on him might be a little off. Um, <laughs> another another thing I wanted to bring up, an interesting thing. And Merck, because you had touched on it earlier about um, looking through Twitter while you were driving, um, yeah. um, was that the, the 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 fakery that goes on? I don't know if you guys saw this. So Trevor Lawrence, the uh, the quarterback for for uh, Clemson, the MVP yeah. of the game, mm-hmm. there was this uh, post about him making a comment about it being blue collar and not a big deal. And then I saw that probably three or four times. People mm. shared it on Facebook. I didn't see that. And then he comes out on his personal Twitter basically saying, like, nope, didn't say that. Yep, that's it was a cool experience to meet the president. I didn't really think – like, I didn't have – I didn't think – I didn't think he said something about – it was cool to meet the president. The food was fine. It was yeah. a great experience. Yeah. And that – that it just, like, it's good that that got rounded out. It's good that uh, that came to fruition. Like, basically, he squashed all of it. But yeah. it kind of sucked that, like – why are you making cool. up? Why are you making up a quote about the, about, about the quarterback yeah. about blue collar? Like what? Because we gotta we gotta stamp everything with with politics these days. Well, America, even if he did say it was blue collar and it was no big deal, what's the big deal if it was blue collar? Yeah. I, you know, I th- it's a blue collar thing these guys are doing. These guys aren't going out onto the football field and trying to solve some yeah. uh, quadratic equation. They're going out there and smashing their faces into each other <laughs> until true. a ball goes across a line. That's it. I mean, so you give these guys some burgers. That's what you're supposed to eat. When you suit up and smash into each other, I you're not going football. out to get some. I ate burgers. What's that? Half time. 
You know, yeah. burger, burger at halftime, maybe a burger afterwards. Sorry to cut you off, but yeah, no, you're fine. You're absolutely right. I heard I you agree. used to you dunked your uh, you dunked your burger in whole milk. Yeah, that's well. You had to keep your bones strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you're ramming your face into <laughs> osteoporosis. Yeah, yeah. You don't want that sinking nah. in at like 13. No. Yeah, Pop Warner. They really get you. They start wearing you down. Yeah, it's like someone has a broken bone, and the team physician comes out and, and immediately diagnoses it as osteoporosis. He just pours milk on just it. Just get get some get a get a streamline of two percent right on there. Yeah. Oh, no, that's whole milk. That's whole milk territory. <laughs> so <sorry>. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, um, the other thing I, I, I wanted to bring up, um, you guys, you guys remember Reggie Bush? Yep. Yeah. Re- Reggie Bush, USC, uh, former Heisman. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Um, he had. 44th he, president of the United States. That's. <laughs> uh, 43. I'm sorry. 43. I apologize. Yeah, Reginald. No, not the same guy. Um, oh. He had uh, he took to Twitter to say that he thought it was a slap in the face and that it was an embarrassment and those kids deserved more. And I thought it was I don't know not, I, is it ironic? I, I I sometimes get nervous about using irony wrong. I'm only right about it's, half it's the time tough. when I say it. Just think about Alanis Morissette, you'll figure it out. Yeah, like three quarters of the shit in her, her song isn't ironical. Yeah, exactly. Um, where he 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 took to Twitter, he said all these things, but Reggie Bush, of course. Uh, was known to take money from uh, boosters when he was at USC. Got USC stripped of a national championship. Uh, basically, ran Pete Carroll out of town in the yeah. midst of controversy. Now he's taking to Twitter to, to criticize Bush about fast some, food being served and how it's a slap in the face. Shut the fuck up! Yeah, shut yeah. up! You you don't you don't for the test of time. Do not get to criticize. Anything around college football. Yeah. If you yeah, want to talk about fair. NFL or something else, but college football, listen, I, I like Reggie Bush as a player, but that that is bullshit. Pretty much stops there, though. Yeah. Yeah, but you know who really made out there? Look at Pete Carroll now. Pete look Carroll there. is the second highest paid coach in the NFL. Yeah. yeah. So, fuck you, Reggie Bush. All right. So... <laughs> <laughs> well, here's my other thing, though. Is I, I, it's always a cop-out, too, because, like, well, these guys deserve better. Oh, yeah, what do they deserve? I, I want to hear people say what the alternative is, though. You know, like... What do Sonic. they deserve? What exactly is it? Like, what makes? What would your perfect meal be? Like, Check, what is the perfect fries. meal? The perfect meal What's is that? a okay. Hold on, hold on. The perfect. I'm, I want to set some parameters on this. The, if I'm visiting the president, no. First of all, my opinion is is like even if I was told that I wasn't going to have be, uh, have access to a meal, but I got to meet the president. Every human being, whether it doesn't matter, every person in the United States should say yes to that. All right, I'm going to be forefront. Yeah. You, Meet the meet the president. It's it's it's. I won't say it's quite like meeting a beetle, but uh, no, not especially not now because no. there's only two of them. Yeah. But it's it's a president of the United States. You meet you meet the president. All right, that's it. Okay, yeah. so <clears throat> I am at the I'm at the I'm at the White House being catered a meal. Right, that's that's one. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. Um, is it from? Am I part of a national championship team where my teammates are eating all this stuff? I think it's got to be something that would maybe possibly happen in, in your life. I don't know. I mean, it, it just it, the bottom line is you save the small child from a crosswalk. It doesn't uh, matter. You're got you're you're invite uh, you're a hero of it. some sort. You're you're considered a national hero in the moment for some reason. Hey, why don't you come to the White House? And then what are you getting? I think that should just be the parameters. It's like okay. what do you want? All right. If you remember in that movie, uh, I think it's um, Dave where. <laughs> What's his face uh, takes over as um, as president because he looks like him, and the yes. real president has a brain aneurysm. What's, yeah. what's his name? Kevin Klein. Kevin, yeah. Klein. Kevin Klein. It is Kevin Klein. Yeah. yeah. Um, he has his buddy <laughs> over, and I can't remember his name either. He's the dad from, um, um, oh Christ, what is that? That Martin Short movie. Um, dad from that Martin Short movie. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I, it's, oh man. Um, Captain Ron. <laughs> <laughs> no, Clifford. Okay. So, All right. Anyway, so what's your point? he has his buddy over who's the accountant and he's asking him to like figure out how he uh, how he would manage this budget because he wants to open up money for you know, something for his fake wife, Sigourney Weaver, that she represents. And uh, he 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 uh, he uh, basically ropes him in with Bratwurst. He's like, oh, I love Bratwurst. He's like, I know you love Bratwurst. I can call it in right now. You, know, you can call it in right now. I'll call it in right now. Watch. Boop. Bratwurst, boom! That was the end of the scene. So, so I'm, I'm not going to go with Bratwurst, but that no. that's that's maybe how the White House works. Okay, we're we're rounding it out. Sorry. Uh, my favorite meal? Do I get an appetizer? Do I get an entree? You, 
Yeah, okay, you can go through the whole you can go through the whole ditty if you want. You can go uh yeah. appetizer. I mean, are you eating breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Like, see, that's the other thing you gotta yeah. think about. Dinner all day. Yeah, dinner. it's gotta be all dinner. dinner all day. Okay, dinner all day. Uh what's your uh what's your starter? Uh your your finger food. Um Mm. I'm probably gonna go with some. Um, I'm probably gonna go with some like clams casino. Mm. Ugh, okay. Yeah, yeah, like, that's that's terrible. Terrible. That wasn't impressive. Yeah. Yeah, that's a terrible choice. Really I wouldn't do that. I was gonna go that. with. Like, I was gonna go with like like hot dogs like wrapped up in like Pillsbury uh, croissant rolls oh, or something. Mm. The old pig in a blanket. Yeah, yeah, but done by like some top notch, world renowned chefs. Yeah, like so, like stuff like they're not their own like, stuffed hot like dogs. Like Guy Fieri, stuff. got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guy Fieri. Yeah, <laughs> throw me some sunglasses on the back of my head Flavor and put Town. me a wedge of bacon in the middle of that bastard. Flavor Town, <laughs> the mayor of Flavor Town. Um, all right, Alan. Uh, oh wait, so appetizer? Mm-hmm. Wait, yeah, so appetizer. I'm definitely, I'm definitely going, I'm definitely going cup of soup, maybe, uh, maybe a nice French onion. Maybe uh ooh or or a nice New England clam chowder. Okay, the there you white. go. That's better. I like the clam it's chowder the red angle better. Soup. All right, so we got pigs in a blanket. Uh-huh. We have uh, some sort of seafood soup. Uh, or French onion. French onion, and then clams casino. All right, we're moving on to the entree round. All right. Okay, I think I won that round, but let's go on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah, sure. Okay, entree round. What are you going with, Wes? Mm, all right. I'm probably gonna go with some type of some type of surf and turf, like a uh, like some like the best steak, the best flaming yawn or best strip that can be cooked on a cast iron skillet by a professional chef, smothered in yeah. butter. Um, yeah. A Maryland crab cake. Um, yeah. I'll do it uh, with crackers and yellow mustard. Mm. Yes. Um, my sides, I would probably. See, this is because I, I don't think there's any sides that like blow me away. I'd probably go with yeah. like like a like a like a bacon top, uh, twice baked potato, mm. Ooh, and that's pretty good. Um, see the veggies, the, uh, like probably some sautéed uh, Brussels sprouts with bacon, and um, I don't know, so just bacon, yeah, a lot of bacon, okay. and like a hollandaise, <laughs> like a hollandaise dipping sauce. And a, and a reduced bacon vinaigrette. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to cook that. <laughs> okay, there's my, there's my entree. Oh, and I'm right, drinking. Alan, you go ahead. I'm drinking Manhattan's while I do this. Well, I mean, okay. he kind of he definitely stole mine. Like, I'm definitely going steak and cake, uh, but specifically, I'm getting the cake from Coco's. Okay. Yeah, because that thing. Coco's I mean, from Dundalk or Essex. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know what you call it. It's on Dun- Hartford Road. The Dun, the Dunsex it's, area. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, absolutely that. But I'm challenging your your baked potato with redskin mashed potatoes, okay. garlic mash. Okay. But I'm gonna I'm gonna counter here. Second side, I'm gonna need a little 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 cup of coleslaw to go with my my cake. Okay. Nice nice slaw. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that'd be good. I think I, that rounds it out. That's a that's a that's a summer meal. That's delicious. Yeah. yeah I'm yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a man. national bohemian. <laughs> in my hand. <laughs> I want some pretentious asshole in the back of the White House to get me a nice Wagyu ribeye steak grass-fed in Japan, and I want him to shave it down, and I want him to make me a Philly cheesesteak with whiz and onion. Wow. (laughs) I want the greatest meat on planet Earth made into the trashiest sandwich that Philadelphia can find. that's fair. And I want... And I want it to be on the side with some extra crispy Arby's curly fries, and that's yes. that's my main course, man, right there. Do you uh, I, you understand it's got to be a good bread too with that cheesesteak? Oh, yeah. yeah. okay. oh yeah, oh yeah. Right, maybe they fly the bread in like uh, like freshly leavened from some uh, Jewish town in the middle of Israel. Right. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say like definitely get like a small child to just carry a baguette on a plane Ooh. from France. I wanted to. Right. You know what I, I mean? wanted. To, I wanted to be padded by. Dirty Indian street child hands. <laughs> <laughs> I want that. I want the flavor of oppression on my sandwich. Mm. Yeah, I mean that's what really gets you with that that kind of steak <laughs> oppression. That's, that's America. Like wagyu <laughs> patted by a Pakistani kid. Is that what you said? Yes, yeah. basically. All right. yeah. I didn't say it. And finally, let's finally go. Uh, what's your, what's your dessert? Ooh. Um. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had to clear my throat there and talk about my dessert. Um, I've always had, I've always been, um, I mean, listen, I'm a, I'm a huge dessert guy. 
I normally yeah. don't discriminate. I uh, I'll eat all of it. I the sweets after a big meal yeah. to me is is uh, that that's the the, the big need. <laughs> um, but I think I've always felt that uh, um, a little hot and a little cold, like a hot apple cobbler mm. oh, with yeah. uh, alamo on the side, okay, yeah. uh, vanilla bean ice cream. Mm-hmm. Boom! You get a little bit with each scoop. If you want to do a little bit of syrup, cool. Doesn't matter. If you want to do a little whip, cool. Doesn't matter. Gotcha. See, yeah. yeah, I'm just like I, I, I'm just nice and easy. Uh, I mean, that sounds delicious. Don't give it. Don't we, don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, just a nice piece of cheesecake. Give me a piece of cheesecake. Uh, maybe <laughs> maybe uh, some strawberry or raspberry. You know, sort of compote if you will <laughs> on top of it uh be delightful now what, wait wait what what style of cheesecake are you going with she, here new york cheesecake new york, new york cheesecake i like yeah, okay, there you go. yes yeah. yeah so yeah nice and easy mm, right man delicious in its own right yeah for sure right. yeah i i like where i i kind of like the direction west goes because i i like me a good uh dutch apple pie with like the crumbles Ooh, on top yeah and i want that nice and piping hot and i want just a nice fresh ice cold just Fresh churn chunk of vanilla ice cream right on top of yeah, that batter. Yeah, it's gotta be the vanilla bean. That makes sense. Yeah, no, I th- I thought you were gonna say that you want the best chef at the at the White House <laughs> to make you like a legit s'more pop tart, but a twelve by tw- a twelve by twelve. <laughs> okay. like That'd a, be awesome. Like an eight and Ooh. a half by eleven size s'more yeah. pop tart, but made from scratch. Yeah, made from scratch on a cookie sheet with a nice slice of uh. Mm, yeah, that does sound no. But so I gotta tell you, the superior pop tart now. Now we're back in my day. <laughs> okay. It used to be the choc- It used to used to be the straight chocolate uh, frosted pop tart, and then we moved into the s'more generation. And now I'm right at just the chocolate chip cookie pop tart. Mm. It has no frosting. It's just got a little bit of like a a, a drizzle glaze on top. Yeah. But it is it is it is perfection. Oh, that's that's it's, now. It's yeah, now that's my whip, man. That's pastry perfection right there. Wow. Nice. I don't think I've had a Pop-Tart in seven, eight, nine we years. Were actually, <laughs> I, we were, I was it's actually talking to my wife about the fact that we've had a box of one single box of Pop-Tarts for almost four years now. That's mm. as, as long We got it when we moved into South Baltimore. And it's still in your cupboard. it's still just chilling. It just moves wow. with us. <laughs> it's, it's just there. It's a keepsake, you know. Yeah, it's it's you know. art at this and point. They're not bad. Yeah. You know they're not bad. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> if the shit hit the fan, yeah. man, yeah. You pop I mean, that bad boy in a toaster, uh, you're gravy. I think, um, yeah, it's, it's just, I think they, they're, they're as good as, as dry goods. They're as good as canned yeah, food. Yeah. You know? They're, they're canned food, yeah. basically. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Nice. Well, I tell you what, Murr. Yes. You know. What? <laughs> fucking A, man. <laughs> <laughs> I missed a line. I wrote something down I didn't get to in the Clemson thing. I was, I was, you know your audience, guys. This is the whole thing with you know serving fast food at the White House. I mean, if you're asked to DJ a party, uh, you should probably know who you're DJing for. If the nursing mm-hmm. home calls... You know, maybe leave the Wu Tang CDs in the PT Cruiser. Trap music all day. <laughs> no? ah, okay, that was it. that's why I left it out. It didn't feel it was going anywhere. I mean, if you're hosting the 1997 Toronto Argonauts, I mean, some poutine and butter tarts would be appropriate. <laughs> See, I didn't go anywhere either. I didn't know I had plenty of words, so. Toronto <laughs> Argonauts. The Argonauts reference. We're just leaving that in for that. I thought I thought for sure you'd go with who did uh, who did Vui play for in the CFL. Uh, the Argonauts. <laughs> no, wait. I thought he played for Winnipeg. <laughs> he won the night. He won the eighty fifth Grey Cup with the Argonauts. Thank you very much. Okay, eighty five right? of them. Ah, man, that's they played. They did. They must do a spring and fall <laughs> season. Like, what is this? Like flag <laughs> football? <laughs> to a year. <laughs> the spring and the get, fall. You get a you get a team T shirt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't fact check me on these things, okay? That's all I ask. <laughs> my, my, my big, my may or may that would mean we have legitimate. to fact check ourselves, and that, that's abs- yeah. that's ridiculous. Mm-mm. No, uh, we're always right. Always, we're always right. We're always right. Uh, 